morning, good morning, YouTube. Uh, hold on. Good morning, YouTube. How are you? Good morning, you. I'm trying to squeeze in. Uh, hold on. I got to get comfortable. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hello, everyone. Oh, my gosh. It's so good to see you again. I absolutely love our times together. And I had so much fun yesterday. Um, did I get in trouble? Uh, just a tiny bit, you know. Uh, I told you, like I told you, I knew. Hold on here. Ugh. I knew I was getting going to get in trouble. Well, I, w I keep saying get in trouble, but that's not quite quite the right term. But yes, I did get a copyright um, strike for the video that I played like 20 times yesterday. And it's not like it's a, it's not a good thing, but it's not a bad thing either. So they're like, hey, you did this and you might not want to do it again. And I'm like, okay, so I'll just, you know, I'll just carry him in my heart. But I, I thought about that video that I played yesterday, all day yesterday, and it continued to make me happy all day yesterday. And I just, you know, social media gets a bad rap because, I mean, again, I think just like everything else, sometimes we focus on the bad stuff. And yes, there's some pretty cringy stuff on social media, but you know what? There's some pretty cool stuff on there too. And I, I just have so many TikToks and that I that I tag and I save and they're all of like just these cutest little animals just doing their cutest little animal thing and it's it's fun it's fun and I like it so there I said it Kariana how are you hey hey good good morning Kelly Tiggy we have we have Kelly twice bad fairy Linda so we are going to do kind of along the same ways like we did yesterday. We're going to go rogue and we're going to just have a conversation and wherever this conversation leads is where we're going to go. And I, again, I really think that it becomes the most organic and I really like that. I thought about it too and I definitely needed it. Also, I didn't wear the daily hoodie. Good. Okay. Again, I think that there is a time and a place for hoodies. I love hoodies. Hoodies are like... They're like wearing mashed potatoes. And when I say that, mashed potatoes are my comfort food. They make me feel like my mom is still here. I feel like I'm, it, it's like my comfort food. And so for me, hoodies are my mashed potatoes of life. And I get a lot of comfort in wearing them. I put my hood up and I can just sit there and I feel very, um, I feel hugged, I guess is the way to put it. But also too, sometimes I feel like I was hiding behind my hoodies. And I say that because I, every day I get um, a notification from TikTok and it says, hey, here's your TikTok from last year. And I noticed myself, especially before I cut my hair, I was hiding a lot behind my clothes. Um, they were becoming baggier and they were becoming more consistent. Um, and so I am really pushing myself to go outside of that, that comfort zone again. And it's been a lot of fun playing outside of the box. Um, Kriana says, I'm doing good. I just got my teeth pulled, got a top denture yesterday. So my mouth is still sore. Ooh, I, um, I take care of yourself and just get lots of rest and good morning, everyone. Yeah. Hoodies are my security blanket for sure. Yeah. Like I said, to me, they're like a physical representation of me wearing mashed potatoes. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Some days, some days are just my hoodie mashed potato Netflix. I'm just going to do that. Um, um, <laughs> I am just going to, I am going to wear it. Shelter Dog Strong, can you please make a little Lonnie Says book? Um, hoodies are the mashed potatoes of clothes. Um, yes, you know what? I'm going to start writing them down. Because I 100% people tell me all the time that I come up with these really weird sayings where in my mind, it's just another day of Lonnie talking. But yes, I will say um, hoodies are the mashed potatoes. Yes. Um, yes. Got it. And I'll, I'll start doing that. And also, too, I'm looking into getting some T-shirts. Um, one of the t-shirts, I got this one, is a saying off of a live that I did the other night. And the saying is, 
they make the rules and we break them. And I really like that one because I, I said that and they're like, make a t-shirt like that. And I'm like, okay. Um, let's see here. Kelly says, have to admit I'm wearing a hoodie right now. It's only 60 degrees here today. So not about hiding, but warmth. Absolutely. And you know what? And I love hoodies and I have hoodies of all different things. But when you get into that kind of repetition of you know, like your hoodies are your comfort zone and that's all you ever wear. That's when I'm saying you kind of got to just, again, instead of reaching for everything on autopilot, start reaching for something else. Um, <laughs> it says we need a hoodie now that says it's my mashed potatoes kind of day. Exactly. Oh my God. It's a mashed potato kind of day. It's a mashed potato kind of day. Love it. I love it. Can, and hello, Claudia from Germany. Hello, my friend. How are you? Thank you for joining us. And can you tell I am still the old fashioned kind of person where I, I doodle and I write everything down. It is just, it's just the way I do it. All right. So what we're going to do is what I wanted to start with today is I did show you this, um, this TikTok yesterday and I want to revisit it. Um, it's the one where the influencer um, didn't wear pants, all right? And I tried to find something. I, when I saw this, I thought it was a very intriguing style. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. You know, I don't know how I would style it. Well, I found something and I found a way that I can style it that I want to share with you. Because it was kind of like taking this, it was like taking this, um, this look and making it my own. So let and I want to come back and take a look at this really quick. Um, I'm doing my hair. I'm putting um, Arctic Fox purple in my hair right now. I'm listening. Very cool. You know what? I actually have, I have the baby blue. I'm going to that premiere thing tomorrow. And um, yes, we do need a, we need a hoodie. And I, like I said, I am working on, um, I had a clothing it's a made to order kind of thing. And I'm, I'm happy with them, but I'm trying to see if I, I'm, I'm weighing out my options, but stand by, we are going to have some merchandise coming soon. So I did find something that absolutely 100%, I think is a cool alternative to this. So let me gear this up really quick. Do, do, do and bring it back, bring it back, bring it, bring it, bring it back bring it back. All right. So again, um, I use Arctic Fox. I leave it in for hours. Yes. And it says 30 minutes, but I, I know people that leave it in for, like you said, for hours at a time. Okay. So we're going to take a look really quick and we're only going to run through it once and then I'm not going to psychoanalyze it, but I am, I do want to, um, you to get the idea just in case you weren't here yesterday of the outfit that I'm talking about. So away we go. Today's style challenge, we're going to do the no pants look, daring, I know, with these blush lace boy shorts. So we're gonna put them on over my tights because we're not gonna flash anyone. And yes, I like this. And now we need to choose a top. I'm gonna wear it with this chainmail uh, top that is old Zara that I got years ago. I know, when they did all these kind of interesting tops. So this is the top on. Now we need some footwear. I'm gonna wear these suede uh, over the knee boots from Joie. The boots are on, so this is what we're working with. It does make me look like I'm leggy, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna wear my Philippe K blazer over this. So this is, let's go, let's go. So this is her final her look. And then yesterday, um, yesterday, she posted this yesterday and her video actually did really well. It's been seen over 2000 times, but I just kind of like really quickly glanced at the comments in her, in her, um, I never thought I'd see the day that being in a bra on the YouTube was a thing. Well, this is on TikTok. And here's the thing, Tiggy, is we talked about this yesterday. It says she is, her, her comfort level is amazing. And she does this more and more and more where she does that. And 
again, it's her comfort level, and I applaud her for being comfortable in that. And truthfully, what's the difference between her standing there in a bra and her standing there in a bathing suit? I mean, I think we put, I, personally, I think we put a lot of, um, we put a lot of restrictions on ourselves for like, if, if I call it this, then it has that stigma. And I, I personally, I am, while I could not do that myself, I will be her biggest supporter for her doing this and pushing those boundaries of um, women over 50. And she does things, again, that personally I, I couldn't do, and but I am going to 100% support her in her um, in her endeavor of doing that. So now let me show you what I found in lieu of of of, ta of walking around without my pants on. I guess that's the easiest way to say it. And I found these right here. Let me bring them back. And yes, I've already ordered them. They are a little ridiculously expensive, but I don't care. I want them. And here you go. So what these are, are these just these super sheer, almost like a lace. Um, it, it's almost like lingerie pants. And I was thinking how cool, see how see-through these are right here? See right there? They're going to be completely see-through. So what I was thinking, um, yeah, you know what? And truthfully, I, I, the thing is, is like, again, she, she, she has content 100% that I, um, the simple fact that I can't do it, I think I'm more proud of her for doing it. But these are super sheer. And let me show them to you in, in ivory. See how, see how see-through they are? So I was thinking I would do, um, oh, those are cute. Oh my God, those are a, um, those are so gorgeous. Yes. So what I was thinking about doing is I'm going to show them to you here in white because it's a little bit easier. But what I was thinking about doing is getting like a pair of like boy shorts and wearing this over the boy shorts. So then that way you kind of have like that, like, oh, you know what? Her pants are really see-through, but they're not so see-through that you're like, she needs to wear pants. So I thought that this would be a really cool alternative. And so what I was thinking about these is like, how cool would it be to like, and here's how I'm envisioning styling it. I think like maybe with a, um, well, those are great. I am, um, if I wore a sheer shirt today it was um a little half slip underneath i wore a sheer skirt today um it has a little half slip underneath so cool linda i love your style you always say that the, that you wear the coolest things but i thought this over a pair of like boy shorts again so cool so i was envisioning like i could do something really fun with like a big chunky hoodie you know um <laughs> on my mashed potato days but for the shoes now here's the thing for the shoes I'm trying to figure out like what kind of shoes I would wear with this and I would either go with like a ballet shoe kind of like keeping it like feminine on the um, bottom and maybe a little bit more rugged on top or I was thinking about um, wearing like Doc Martens or my Durango boots or something like that now Another way that I was thinking about styling these that I was super excited about is like wearing these underneath a dress. I think it would be really cool to have like maybe a mid-length dress and then or even a mini dress and then having these over underneath that because what I do have is let me bring this back. I do have um, let me show you what I have denim. So I totally got inspiration from her outfit and had I, had she have not done that, I don't think I would have like even thought about this outfit, but I think like, um, I feel like loafers would be the chef kiss. Ooh, I have chunky loafers, like chunky vagabond loafers, but look how cute those pants would be like underneath this, where you have kind of this flowing kind of denim top and then you have those um, pants underneath. And I do have this right here. I have this exact what color. 
I have this one. So what I was thinking about doing is wearing that underneath something like this. And I just think it would be really cute. I think it's a great layering piece and I'm super excited. Um, yeah, and I think that I'm super excited to, again, try something new and different. And while I could not, um, while I couldn't wear it um, like she did, I, I really, I really liked it. Now, I do want to show you one more thing as for a styling kind of, kind of thought. Um, let me pull this up here because I saw this. We looked at this yesterday. All right. We saw this yesterday and it was the guy with the two shirts. Remember it looked like he was on, I think it was men in black where he was supposed to be, where he was looked like he was going to grow another head. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, what do you think about a pair of shorts like this? Hold on, let me make this big. Because I was really, I, you know, truthfully, the more I do this, it seems like the more I am just pushing my my comfort zone and I'm, all, I'm, I'm really loving layering. But what if I got a pair of like faux leather shorts like this, like kind of like the wider leg right here, and I wore these over the top of those little sheer um, pants. And then I could kind of like um, wear it with like maybe a pair of, again, I, on something like that, I'm not, too, yeah, I would probably do like the Doc Martin loafers or maybe a pair of boots. But what do you think about putting those pants underneath a pair of faux leather shorts like this, just for that layering over layering over layering kind of look? And I thought that that would be cool. And, you know, I wouldn't do this shirt, but like maybe with a um, kind of like a chunky cable knit sweater. I thought that that would, um, those shorts are cool. Yeah. See, his look, I mean, again, just embracing your absolute style, no matter how you want to do it. Um, I really do like those shorts. And I'm thinking, because I've never been comfortable in faux leather pants. And I'm not too sure if it's because they always seem to be super tight. But if I got kind of like a pair, uh, again, of these kind of pull on faux leather kind of baggier look, I think I'd be okay with that. So yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm very excited to get it. I am going to be getting it. That would really be cute. Um, a cute um, fall outfit. That's what I was thinking. I was really thinking that. And I'm really happy that... Um, that free people, I should be getting it by the end of the month. And I did, uh, I'll show you some other stuff. I showed you here lately. Let me see if I can pull this up really quick. Pulling this up really quick. Because what I've done is some of the things that I've ordered, I got them. And they did not fit the way that I wanted them to. So they're already on their way back to two free people. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm working here with a, um, with a credit, let's just put it that way. But I got this top and I really had high hopes for this top. I, it was $128 and this is more expensive than I usually buy, but how it fits on her is not how it fit on me. It's, I got a size small because I have, um, I, I have breasts and it just like right here hung open and it is denim, but man, it was a really, um, I can't cope with that shirt. No, that shirt was definitely different, but it was a very heavy denim. It was not like a flowy denim. It wasn't, it wasn't soft. So I sent that back that did not work. And so that went back and then, um, the faux leather shorts are, um, the same, hold on here, do, do, do. Yeah, and the flower docks, absolutely. The faux leather shorts, the see-through pants, and um, uh, the flower, <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, Kelly, perfect. My, um, my Verona boots, the high ones, yes, 100%. You nailed it, you called it, that is absolutely 100% yes. 
Now, another shirt that I got that I'm sending back, seems like I'm sending back more than I am keeping, which is perfectly fine. And you know, it, it helps my wallet. But I got this one and it was such a pretty color, but you know what, for almost $40, it did not fit the way that I wanted to. Um, I thought that I could buy other things for, for less money. So this one is going back also. So I 100%, I have more of a credit than I do what I, I purchased. And I'm very excited about that. I love it when it works out that way. Now, I do want to show you one pair of pants and then we're going to move on. But I found and do, 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 where do I want this? I want to go back. Let's go here. Let's go here i found a pair of pants that i did not think were outrageously expensive but i really like them and i do want to show them to you um where is okay saved for later here you go so these right here go bigger hold on I do want to show these to you. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. All right, here we go. Bring you back. I found these right here. These are, I think, a real good combination between the Osaka jean and the barrel pull on jean and they're $98, which for free people, that's pretty good because usually they're, they're a little bit more expensive than this. They got great ratings and I thought that these were very cute. I have not played these yet just because I, um, because I bought those other pants, but I really like the way that these hit. Now I know she would be taller than I am, but I think that again, they would probably hit right around the ankle and I just love these. So I did want to show these to you. They come in different colors. Um, if you're looking for a pair of free people jeans, love it. Okay, this is the first time that we've been scrolling that we have found a plus size model on the free people website. And I am super excited and Yay, we showed you, I showed you the Zara one where they were using a little bit more mature models. Now we are seeing um, more of the, you know, different, different shaped models and I absolutely love it. And I think it's about time that we get pleasantly surprised every time we come on here and we see something like that, we need to call it out and we need to give a, because it's really easy for us to sit here and complain that we don't see things. But when we do, I think we, again, we need to say something. We need to say something and call it out. I did find, I found, um, we've seen her videos before, but there's a, uh, a TikTok influencer who does plus size fashion. And she got a really cute haul from Walmart. And I thought we would take a look at that because again, um, I do want to be more size inclusive and it's really easy for me to find um, clothes that fit me. And I want to make sure that we include everybody. And that's just it. Just, this is an everybody, this is an everybody channel, not just a me channel. So let's, Let's take a look. Let's, let's, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, she, I'm not too sure if I have them in the right order, but let me, <laughs> nope. All right. Um, no, I think we'll do it this way because first she like shows everything and then she does a try on haul. She did three videos for this, but I'm just going to go straight to the try on haul. So let's take a look. Bring it back. Let's take a look. I'm Callie on Plus Size. There's so much I don't even know where to start, but let's just get into it. What I'm thinking might be my most epic Walmart Plus Size fall haul ever. Let's just try it on. Let's hurry up. They're all in my Walmart favorites in my bio. I even found wide calf boots there. So I did not know that Walmart straight sizes, some of them go to like a 3X. They call this a 22. I got the 3XL. I use the belt. I honestly think the 2X probably would have been fine. I'm an 1820 usually, but it's a cute dress. Yeah. 
This would be so cute for like fall pictures, work. I don't, I'm speechless. See now here, I would take this. I, I really do like this dress on her. I think it is really, it, it's very flattering on her. And I think what I would do is I personally, I would add a harness to this. And I think that that would um, kind of give it a real cool kind of trendy edge because I put harnesses on everything. You could actually get like a wide black belt and you could put that uh, around the waist. Or if you wanted just to kind of make it a little bit more casual, I think you could do it with um, maybe some Doc Martens and a denim jacket. But I thought that this was really pretty on her. And um, I... I thought that this was a good find. Work. I don't, I'm speechless. The color, again, I actually kept those same tall boots on. You could totally swap it out for something else or a booty, but the, the fit, the color, for those of you who love a maxi dress, I love this. See, I think I almost like this one a little bit. This is more of like my style, but I absolutely love the fit on this. It's a pretty color on her. Again, I would wear it with like a thick belt. I think a thick belt would look really pretty. Um, you could put a vest over the top of it. You could wear a harness um, for the jacket. Again, uh, if you wanted to, if you wanted to kind of make it a little bit more of a streetwear look, you could put um, an oversized bomber over the top of this. There's all sorts of things that you could do with this dress. And so second dress in a row, I am absolutely... Um, kudos to walmart i think that the um both of those style dresses are really cool i like them let's keep going i love this okay walmart i added this little cardigan style as a top okay go to part two i'm ah okay so we are going to go to part two don't worry i already have it i was anticipating this and i downloaded part two so which one out of those out of those two dresses which one did you like better did you like the shorter one or did you like the longer one on her because again i personally i thought they were both cute but i thought the little bit longer one was just abs I, I thought that one was really really cute really 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 cute i'm trying to say more words than i usually do because i find myself always being like that's really awesome so I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, broaden my vocabulary. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going and let's see what else she found. Here we I'm go. Callie, I'm Plus Size, and welcome back to me discovering the greatest Walmart haul I've ever had. Um, if you missed part one, these Levi jeans and this cardigan I'm wearing as a shirt are in that one. Everything's linked in my Walmart favorites, but let's keep going. Okay, so this cute little shirt actually came in a two pack. I love the fit. I love the length. It also had black with it. I got the black olive combo and I just kept the same jeans on to try on some tops. But look at this little like almost moto style jacket, but in this faux suede. The reason I love it is it's stretchy. So I don't mm. feel restricted at all. See, now here, me personally, because I am all about my opinion, but I personally don't care for that top. And that's just my opinion. I think this outfit right here is very cute. But if she had on like maybe a white flowy top where it was almost like a baby doll top where it's a little bit more fitted up here and then flowing down underneath, I think that that would... Um, I think that that would be, uh, that's a look that I, I personally, I would be more comfortable wearing. Again, I just, I, I, I personally don't like the fit of the shirt. I do like the jacket. I think the jacket is amazing. That jacket would look so pretty with like over, um, like a pair of overalls, or you could do like an all monochromatic black, black top, black pants, black boots, and then add this pop of that suede jacket over the top of it. I think that that would be really cute. But again, for me personally, not the top, but definitely the jacket. So let's keep going. I think this is really versatile. I also love, love, love this color. Okay, next. If you're my age, I'm totally channeling. Like I feel like my inner 90s Buffy craft vibes in this little velvet dress with lace trim. It's so cute. Okay, there's... Okay, so what we're doing here is we're gonna come back. 
I, again, I, I have, a, I always have an issue with, with skirts or dresses that hit me right at the ankle. I personally cannot wear it right at the ankle. I think this little um, dress would look so cute with those little flowy um, see-through pants that I just showed you from Free People. I think that underneath this would be cute. I personally would add a harness just to um, pull up the fabric a little bit to make it a little bit shorter. I would add those flowy pants underneath and then the loafers. And I think that would be really cute. But then again, you know what, that's just my style and how I put everything together. So I did not realize that she had three videos. So let me come on to TikTok really quick and see if I cannot find the third one real quick because I do have it saved. And really, 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 really quick. Do I have her saved? Yes, I do. I have her here. Awesome. I love it when a plan works out. Um, did she? No, that's where she left off. She didn't show the rest of her stuff. So there, it wasn't me. It was, it was her. There you go. I said it. All right wasn't me makes me feel better i always it always makes me feel bad if i don't download all of the videos but again i think that this would be really cute styled the way that i just the way that i just said there you go i said it and that's just the way i'm sticking with it so last night on my TikTok live i came up with an idea and here's my idea, and I kind of like to incorporate it over here on YouTube. And what it is, is that if you've heard any of my stories or if you've, um, if you've caught any of my, my lives on here, is that my sister, um, my, sister, my sister passed away in November 8th, 2006, all right? She, um, she got she wasn't feeling well the end of September. About this time in 2006, my sister started not feeling well. And her symptoms was she had an upset stomach. She felt like she just had an upset stomach and she was, her stomach was like starting to bloat. And I'm not going to go, I'm not going to delve into this too, too much, but she went to the hospital for stomach pains and it ended up being that she had a malignant tumor attached to her heart. And she, um, by the time they figured everything out, it was too late for her and she passed away November 8th. So in, um, less than 45 days, my sister didn't feel well to being gone. It was a horrific time in my life. Just it, it still today knocks the air right out of my chest. But what happened during that time is I was still drinking. That was, that was my, my drinking was spiraling and that just put the pedal to the metal and I just started free falling even faster. And it was during this time that Halloween rolled around and Halloween was my sister's favorite season. She loved Halloween. So the very last Halloween that I experienced while my sister was still alive, she was in the hospital. She was terminal. I was drunk as a skunk trying to hand out Halloween candy. I ended up spilling a beer in my candy. I didn't care. I was just a hot mess. And that is what has been stamped on my psyche now since 2006. So last year, I started off on a journey of trying to reprogram my brain for certain things. And one of the things that I really wanted to reprogram my brain for was Halloween because I felt like I was traveling back in time to that moment of sitting on my porch over and over and over again. And I felt like it was the worst vision of Groundhog's Day that I could ever experience. 
And so what I did is I started changing my thought pattern last year. And I'm like, instead of reliving that moment, I want to start making new moments. And instead of remembering it in that kind of way, I want to start celebrating Halloween in honor of my sister. So I actually went to Home Goods and I bought like two Halloween decorations. I was so excited. I was I was so proud of myself for doing that. And I actually handed out Halloween candy again. And I'm a horrible Halloween candy giver outer. I'm going to tell you right now, I need to be I need to be supervised because I had a bowl of candy and the very first cute little ladybug that came up and was like, trick or treat. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're the cutest thing ever. And I was just giving her handfuls of candy and I ran out of candy too fast. I had to, I had to turn off my porch light and hide in my house because I didn't have any more candy. So I was really proud of myself and I was like, wow, this is really cool. This is what I, in honor of my sister, I want to start having this energy. So this year I want to do even more and I want to celebrate Halloween even more than what I did last year. So last night on my TikTok live, I came up with the idea of doing kind of like kind of like not so much a book club, but like a movie club where we p start picking out scary movies to watch while we count down to Halloween. And I personally, I mean, if no one participates, that is 100% fine. If a bunch of people participate, that's 100% fine. But I just think by having like a purpose and a community and kind of like a, a vibe going on, it, it might help somebody who's alone during the holidays and it might help somebody who it's going to, it's going to help me. I mean, at the end of the day, it's really going to help me try to again, honor my sister instead of mourning my sister. So we're going to break down the, um, we're going to break down the movies in different kind of subjects. We're going to have like the, um, the spooky movies kind of like poltergeist or, you know, like something about a ghost, maybe like um, a conjuring movie, something along those lines. We're going to have more of like a like a throwback in time kind of movie where we'll watch either Nightmare on Elm Street or the, Hall the first Halloween movie, something along those lines. But we're going to have like maybe once a week until we get to Halloween, we're going to have a little movie club where we'll give ourselves a week to watch a movie and then we'll just get together and talk about it. And if that's something that you would like to do here, I will absolutely incorporate you into that mix. Um, you know, you don't have to let me know right away, but if it is something, I'll be reading the comments and just let me know. And it's again, I really want to step up and I really want to make even a larger and louder presence during the holiday season this year. And I am really focusing on community and I'm really focusing on just being there for everybody because I believe it or not, hol holidays just seem to be so dreaded these days. I mean, monetarily people are not you know we're not doing well monetarily and we get so much pressure put on us to purchase gifts and to do this and to do that and some people don't have family that is near them to celebrate holidays with some people don't have families because of um they just don't talk to them or or maybe their past like mine so I, again, I'm going to be doing more and more community kind of based things. So then that way, if it is something that you need in your life, you can, you can have it. And I'm super excited about that because again, you know what, my platform for me is about so much more than just fashion. My my, my platform is so much more than just like wear this makeup or wear that style. It's about just stopping for a moment, looking at yourself, giving yourself a break, wearing your mashed potato hoodie and being 100% being absolutely okay with it. And I love it. And that's what I'm going to end up doing here. And I, like I said, if you want to join, 
This is where it's going to be. So once a week, I will tell you what movie we're watching. And that way, if you want to join along and watch it also, you 100% can. Because I am, I am determined to make this an amazing, great holiday season for all of us. 100%. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm looking for... I'm looking for a video that I want to show you. So yesterday, nope, I'm going to show you this one. I have not posted this yet here on YouTube, but I am going to be posting this later today. I have to, on my shorts, I have to cut down my shorts to a minute. On TikTok, I get 10 minutes. I can do a 10 minute um, TikTok if I wanted to. On Instagram, I can do a minute and a half. Here on YouTube, I only get um, I only get a minute. So a lot of times, I have to cut down my shorts more than I want to to make my time limit. So what I want to do here, really quick, is I want to show you in full the video that I am posting here later today, and. What, what, what? Go, go, go. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, sorry. I actually, um. Oh, wow. All of my, for some reason, all of my messages never, they, they stopped. So I, I was sitting here. All right. I was sitting here and I'm like, wow, I'm really talking to myself. Yep. Nope. They're not talking to me. And for some reason, my messages did not pop up. So let me go back. Um, and let me go back and read them because I, again, um, how tragic my condolences. Yes. And it's, it's, it's something that um, it's something that I have. A lot of times, I find my inspiration from living through moments like that. A lot of times, sometimes I wake up and I'm tired, and sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I just don't know. I just don't know if I have the energy. And then I remember that I'm doing a lot of the things I do in honor of the people who I love, and it just it fills me full of just determination. Um, Kelly says, Lonnie Hug, super proud of you. Um, where is my little, oops, don't do that. Okay, um, shelter dog strong. I feel all of this. It's hard to delete those traumatic times, but these new experiences make you feel like they are with you. Absolutely. Um, Lost Boys. Kelly, yes, we did not think of that one last night. My favorite is Lost Boys. I remember seeing Lost Boys in the movie theaters and it was a, it was great. Claudia loves the, likes the idea. Joni says, what a great idea. My husband works out of state and was gone for Halloween last year. So we skipped with um, carving pumpkins, maybe live with that also. <gasps> I absolutely love you. I love you and I love the idea. So we are going to do a live pumpkin carving. And so that way we can, um, give ourselves time to get the pumpkins because truthfully I the last time I carved a pumpkin was probably a couple of years ago when um, Brandon was still in California and we did a TikTok and we did like one of those pumpkin carvings where we put them on top of our heads but I have such a ginormous head I couldn't find a pumpkin big enough to put on my head so I look like I had half a hat on but let's, um, we'll figure out a day sometime in October that will give us enough time. Live pumpkin carving. I absolutely love that idea. That is amazing. Um, we started doing experiences together instead of material gifts. Um, hate the stress. We so nixed it. Oh, absolutely. And you see, and here's the thing. And, and going like one level deeper of the entire psyche that makes me me um, is that, wow. I almost said the F word, but I'm going to say duck, 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 duck. What I did to my children was for their holidays, I was the drunk mom. So my children's thoughts about holidays is having a drunk mom. And so 
I have, I've been sober now for eight years. And for the last eight years, I have been trying to figure out a way to undo that. I've been trying to figure out a way to, to fix the damage that I caused. And there's no fixing it. There, there is no magical button of going back in time and fixing something like that. So give me a minute. So I have come to the realization that I can't give my kids the holidays that they had wanted, but I can give my kids the holidays that they want now. So Brandon is out of state and he's going to be working on Christmas. So, you know, that's, that's out of the, that's out of the mix. And Robert just wants to chill. You know, he doesn't want any of the, the pressures. He doesn't want to try to, he doesn't want to try to like redo a holiday. He's like, I just want to chill. I don't want to do anything. I don't want any pressures. So I'm going to respect that. I'm going to honor his words because what I was doing is, is that I was sitting there and I was like, let me just make it better. Let me just undo all the wrongs I did. And the only thing I was doing was making it worse. So this year, I'm going to listen to my kids and I'm not, I'm not going to put any pressures on them. And I'm not going to make sure, um, I, I'm not, and I'm not going to do any of that to them. Where are my messages? Why, 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 why? Um, I'm just going to type in message and see if that, for some reason, and I don't know why it's doing this, but your, your comments are not coming up and it's driving me cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, wait. Mm, nope. So anyway, if you're leaving a message, I do apologize for some reason it's not popping up in real time, but, um, do, do, do. So, okay. So, um, I, I'm going to be basically, and I'm not, I'm not alone. I, I have my kids in my life. We have a beautiful relationship and I'm going to cherish that. And that's what I'm going to focus on. So again, we're going to do all sorts of things. Maybe for Christmas, we can do like a baking Christmas cookies. I actually, um, took down my mom's cookbook that she got when she got married in, I don't, I think she got married in like 52. And maybe what we can do is we can pick a recipe from there and I'll post it and we can all make Christmas cookies together. I don't know. I'm just really super excited about, um, I'm just really excited about, about making new memories and it's going to be great and it's going to be fun. And I'm very, very, very super excited about it. And again, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to come up with a, with a broader voca vocabulary than just like awesome and great and super, but that's just how I speak. So <laughs> I'm just going to stick with that. So we're going to have all sorts of amazing things. Um, oh, Hey, Crochet says, I admire your growth as a parent. Neither one of mine see any issues. So it didn't change. Yeah. You know what? I figured when I got sober, the only thing that I could do, I guess when I got sober, I gave my kids the one thing that I wish I had gotten from my parents and that was accountability. And I think that the accountability is still the only thing that I can give them. Um, gingerbread. Oh my gosh. Yes. Gingerbread house decorating. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, we could do it. Yes, we could do gingerbread making life. I, I agree. Um, it's been a long time since I've made cookies. It would be nice. You know what, Claudia? Me too. I usually just buy cookies or I get like the one where you, you slice it and you just throw it in the oven. But I think maybe just having like, like these little times together, um, would be great. And even if we pick a day that not everybody can make it, I mean, at least it's going to be recorded and we will just, it will still be like we're together. And to me, these ideas are absolutely amazing. I love the, the pumpkin carving, pumpkin carving gingerbread house and cookies. And we'll just do stuff like that. And you know what? And if for some reason, like if we need to figure out maybe some DIY um, gifts that y'all can make or we can make together that you can give out as gifts or something, maybe we can do something like that too. 
and just, I don't know, I, I, it's been an amazing year. It's been an amazing flourishing kind of like, I started going to a counselor with Robert and Brandon, all three of us together. And it's just like peeling back just layer after layer. And every time I peel back something, it seems like I have more personal growth. And even just coming on here in our PJs, absolutely in our PJs. I mean, we are definitely going to be wearing some Christmas PJs. So Kelly, um, now is everybody able to purchase thing off of Amazon? Because I'm trying to think like, I don't really want it to be where I find something, but it's only for certain areas. And I'm thinking Amazon is the most widely like, um, international because if I find like a gingerbread kind of like, um, house that we can build off of Amazon, I can put the link up and then we can all purchase that. I personally think having matching jammies would be fun, but if you just want to pick your own matching jammies, you can. Making gingerbread house and baking Christmas cookies were things I did with my grandma when I was very young. I miss her every day. So I love these ideas to have that connection again. Yeah. And this, this right here, what we're doing at this exact moment is truly the core of where my platform lies. Fashion, style, all of that, that's a byproduct of us being able to explore our own individuality. But what we're doing right here is where my, really where I get my joy. So you have no idea how much I am absolutely just on the inside. On the inside, I'm doing this. On the inside, I'm dancing like we were yesterday, which I can't show that video again because it will make me have another copyright and I'm sliding by right now on my copyrights. I will dress not goth for the day. You know what? I appreciate that. I think that that is amazing. And we'll do, um, like if you want to, again, if you want to, if you find something on Amazon and you want to, um, if you want, okay, <sighs> I got so much to do. So I have a discord, all right? And it's a brand new discord that I have. I'm going to start a, um, a YouTube live um, channel just for us. And if you find something on Amazon or a recipe or something like that, that you want to share, go to the discord and leave it there. That's going to be like our community chat board for what we're doing right now. Um, it will be up sometime today, but I will definitely have it. Um, I'll let you know tomorrow morning. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you do. You know what? We can all wear goth Christmas pajamas. We can do it for her. I love this. Thanks for giving me something to look forward to this holiday season. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. This may be industrious, laugh out loud, but maybe we can design our own Lonnie Christmas wreath to hang and display. You know what? Why not? Let's just see if we can find like a, a very, let's see if we can do um, like a DIY Christmas wreath and we can all do it together. Like some easy materials that we can find at a local craft store. So we can definitely do that. And I, I, you know what? And the thing is, is that this only stops with our imagination. The more that we think of, the more we can do. Um, nightmare, be yeah, we can all do Nightmare Before Christmas jammy. So that way, um, Bad Fairy feels comfortable yet participating. Because I love the Nightmare Before Christmas. And that will probably be one of the... Maybe that can be one of our movies that we watch and, um, you know, just do fun stuff. We're just going to do fun stuff. And again, we're going to make this a community. So, um, you can check my discord. I'm going to put the address down in the description. I'm not too sure it will be up sometime today, but if you want to just go ahead and join the discord and that's fine. We can start putting um, our ideas there, our recipes, if we find pajamas. Um, again, a DIY, DIY wreath. We'll, this, the Discord is where we will meet. Um, Kelly says, I love this idea for our group Christmas. It's still a huge trigger for me, and I hate myself when I get triggered and the fallout, then the depression and the anxiety. Kelly, 
I totally get that. And here's the thing. It's like me sitting here laughing and thinking about Halloween. There's at one point I, I had to shift it in my mind from being like, am I going to, am I going to just relive pain over and over again? Or am I going to honor the person I love, I loved by by being together and helping somebody else. So I'm here for you. If you need any sort of like, if you want to message me on Instagram, by all means, please do. I'm here for you. You deserve to have this kind of community and this kind of, this kind of warmth. You deserve it. So give me a message on Instagram and you and I can talk personally. Um, my son makes a, me an ornament every year. Maybe we can do all one together. Yeah, yeah, whatever idea that we all come up with. Kara says, reminds me of the dad grad picnics we had as a family back in the day. Sounds like fun. You know what? I, I actually, Kara, I saw a picture of, um, of, it was with all the brothers and Uncle Thorny together at the park when, um, the one right there in Cardiff by the 7-Eleven, one of my favorite pictures. Um, Dollar Tree usually sells the base to make your own wreath. I brought, bought one last year to make a yarn wreath theme for myself. Yeah, you know what, just so long as, you know what, I just wanna make sure, and it doesn't have to be from Amazon, but I just wanna make sure that everybody has the ability to, um, to have those core kind of things um, available to them, that's all. So even if we find like a DIY, like on Pinterest, so long as everybody can go out and get those materials, that's, that works for me too. So what did you see? Now this, just taking a day of where I started this live with like, yeah, you know what, let's, let's, let's look at a cute pair of pants and ending with this kind of energy will make me so energized and so happy the entire day. I absolutely pick. Um, I absolutely love it. Oh, you have that picture too. That's cool. That's one of my favorite pictures. Glenn Park. Yeah. Yep. That is exactly where it was. That's exactly where it was. All right, everybody. I am off. I need Robert's help with my discord and he's doing his streaming right now. And I after he's done with that and he eats his lunch because he gets a little hangry, I'm going to have him help with the discord. I'm going to, again, I'm going to put the address up in, down in the description. You can join. It will be up. That's where I'm going to start um, dropping in all the ideas. And that's just what we'll pick. So look for, um, it's going to be under YouTube uh, what should we call ourselves? The ducking, should we call ourselves the ducking warriors or no? Let's call ourselves, I don't know. I'm not too sure what it's called, but it's definitely going to have the word YouTube in it. So we're, we will do that. And um, yeah, no, I love you all dearly. Um, you ride that happiness. Your event is tomorrow. Have fun, be safe, snuggles to Indy. Yeah, okay. So here's the thing about that event. I'm going, I'm definitely going to that event. And they kind of dingle dangled me along for a while. Um, they were like thinking about using me as a social media to, to post on my social media to, for the event. And they went in a different direction. Oh, the mashed potato posse. Love it. The mashed, but okay. We're going to have the word mashed potatoes in it. Absolutely. So I'm still going tomorrow. I'm definitely going tomorrow. I'm going to go. I'm going to just dress comfortable. I'm not going to stress it. I'm going to go. I'm going to be my most authentically badass self. I'm going to go. I'm going to I'm going to be seen. I'm going to do my thing. And then I'm going to come home and I'm going to be happy in my own little mashed potato world. Absolutely. Um, mashed potato posse. Love it. And then that way we will add everything there. And thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the bottom of my heart for letting me have my little moments, my little cry sessions, my little understandings. And I love you all dearly. So yeah. So tomorrow when I come live, um, I'm not going to have any makeup on because I am so weird like that. If I know I have somewhere that I have to go in the evening, I don't like putting my makeup on and then taking it off and then putting it back on. So tomorrow you are going to get um, all natural Lonnie, and I'm going to be sitting here, no makeup on, 
but we will have just as equally as fun of live. So I will see you all tomorrow. Kisses, hugs to you all. Love you dearly. Have a great day. See y'all tomorrow, my mashed potato posse. Love you.